Hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on this uh, Electrolux fridge. Uh, the customer's complaint is the unit is not working. It's not cooling at all. It doesn't start. I also got a request from one of our followers on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, he messaged me on Facebook saying to teach him how to do that, how to check the amperage, uh, how to get the amperage reading from the compressor. Uh, so Ayan, uh, Ayan is the guy's name. Uh, this video is this video will help you. I will also uh, teach you on this video how to do the amperage reading on the compressor. So the model and serial number is here. That's the model and serial number. And I'm gonna plug this unit in. Usually, um, when I go in a customer house, I want to make sure the fridge is plugged in for at least 24 hours uh, if there's any kind of problem. So that can tell me if the unit is working or not. But when I got here this morning, the fridge is unplugged, so I'm gonna plug it in and we'll go from there. So, we'll plug it in. So I can hear the, the fans are running inside and we will confirm it. The, the refrigerator fan, if I press the button, it's working and the light is working on and off. So we're gonna check the inside of the freezer. I can hear the fan is running too, so that's good. And our temperature. On the refrigerator shows five and minus 18 freezer which is not correct the alarm is flashing because the temperature is high i have my hand i have my hand on top of the compressor i can hear a little bit of vibration and then it dies after that so uh, i'm gonna get the amperage reading here so i am this video is for you <laughs> Okay, so now you can bring the camera close by here. So in this area, this is our uh, little small plastic junction box for the PTC starter relay or capacitor. Uh, capacitor is here on the side, but the PTC starter and relay is here. Uh, we are gonna uh, open this box and get our amperage reading. So to open this, there's that little small uh, clip we need to open. And so I'm gonna unplug it before I do any of those. The unit is unplugged. The box is open. And if you look close by here, uh, you see, if you look close by here, uh, we have so many wires here. We got two wires here. We got two wires here. And then there's one wire that goes from the common pen to the top. I'm not worried about explaining any of those, but what I'm gonna do, I'll get the amperage reading. So I got my <coughs> multimeter. I'm gonna select the amperage. And then after that, you see this clamp your multimeter needs to have this otherwise you cannot get the amperage reading so you open this and insert one of the wires here and that that blue wire that goes on the uh, relay this one i'm gonna hold it inside of this clamp meter so you want to make sure it looks like that and you can plug in your fridge and it will show you the amperage reading here So the compressor is drawing uh, uh, 10 amps, which is not good. When the compressor draws uh, 10 amps, uh, we're gonna have to check our components here to see what's causing this. Very common problems are the, the relay. I'm gonna disconnect this. Uh, I disconnect the plug-in. I'm gonna do some testing here to see if that's the problem. So 
gonna do the testing. Yeah. So we are gonna select the the continuity. Now I'm gonna take the relay off. Make sure the unit is unplugged when you do this. So you see, I have three pins here. We don't have three pins on some of the uh, compressors on some of the fridges, but on this one we do. So to check this uh, relay, we are gonna, there's two ways you can check this. We will check these pins. You see that hole, those two holes, and that has two pins at the back. We will disconnect one of these and stick our probe inside where that hole is and then check it from this side okay so like yeah make sure you select the, uh, the continuity here and to confirm that you have continuity really touch two probes together that confirms it that you have selected it and now i'll check this i got continuity so that's good and i'll check this one i got continuity and between this pin and the bottom one And between the other pen and the bottom one I have no continuity you see that I should have continuity on these pens so that tells me we have a bad relay this relay is bad I have a similar one in my toolbox and I'll replace it now and okay so that was the first way of testing it and the second way to test this once I unplug this I'll, I'll show you how to check that So here's the new relay I have. We will disconnect one by one the pins and select it in here. And the one that goes at the back. So the second way to test this relay, if it's good or bad, you just move it with your hand, wiggle it. Can you hear that? It has a little small disc inside, ceramic disc. That disc breaks over time and then it doesn't work anymore. So if I move this one back and forth, you see that? No noise. So ceramic disc is perfectly fine inside here. I'll reinstall it back in. The pins are going straight there. Okay, so I'll reconnect this junction box back in. I have an open slot here. These two wires goes in there. And I got this steel piece that holds the junction in place. So this actually goes at the bottom of the relay, there is a opening there. You insert it there at the bottom and let it sit like that. You can install your cover. The relay cover needs to be installed here like this. It fell down again. It's a little bit annoying, but take your time. You have to kind of lean, hold your head down and then you reinstall it back in here i have 
we install it back in you know I'm gonna yeah, plug it back in now you can hear the compressor is running my compressor is okay here this was the main problem the unit is fixed uh, she's really okay so the fridge is fixed thank you so much for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos if you guys have any question you can comment below and i will get back to you thank you so here we got the uh, relay I use the flat screwdriver to pry this out and I'll show you how it looks from inside so I'm trying to open it so the cover is on off You see these little small bits and pieces. It's a ceramic piece. So the other half is stuck in there. This is a complete disc. <coughs> that looks kind of like that. Looks like this. And there's a... So it's half a disc almost. And the other half is inside, I cannot pull it out. I can, but I need a flat screwdriver uh, to pull this out. Yeah, so it looks like this once this uh, ceramic uh, plate breaks because of the heat, uh, this device or this relay uh, stops working and then the compressor does not run anymore after that. So that this was the problem for today. Thank you.